Welcome to the lesson on how to convert decimals to percents. As you may recall, decimals are a kind of partial numbers. Like fractions, decimals indicate that you have a quantity that is less than a whole. Percents are similar in that they tell you how much of something you have out of 100. In this lesson, we are going to focus on the meaning of percent and the steps you take to convert decimals to percents. As you know, our numbering system is based on powers of 10. We use 10 standard symbols, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9, and then begin to combine symbols to indicate values greater than 10. When dealing with partial numbers, we also use powers of 10 to indicate how much of something we have. In decimals, we do this by naming values places based on powers of 10, such as tenths, hundredths, thousandths, and so on. Percentages are strictly based on the value of 100, itself, of course, a power of 10. In Latin, the word percent literally means per 100. In math terms, it's a way of saying of how many parts of something we have out of a total of 100. For example, when we say the sales tax on an item is 7%, what we are saying is that we have to pay 7 cents for every 100 cents we spend. Have you ever thought about the origin of the symbol itself in used to indicate percent? It actually comes from the word percent itself. If you look at the symbol, you will see the two zeros from the idea of 100. Do you see them? Well, consider the following, 14%. This means 14 out of a 100, or 14 over 100. As we learned earlier, 14 over 100 is read 14 hundredths, which is written as 0.14. This percent has been changed to a decimal. Changing a decimal to a percent is really a very easy process. It is a matter of moving the decimal point two places to the right and then adding the percent symbol to remind ourselves that the decimal has been moved. So, for the number on the screen, 681 thousandths is 68 and one tenth percent. Easy, no? Look at this number and let's think about what it looks like when written as a percent. Remember, we need to move the decimal point two places to the right. But there's only one number there, so we need a placeholder, zero. Therefore, two-tenths is the same as 20%. Last example, I promise. Suppose you want to change four to a percent. Remember the hidden decimal point? If you don't see it, it's always at the end of a number. Move it two places to the right and fill in the blanks with zeros. 4 is the same as 400 percent. So let's review. The word percent comes from Latin and means per 100. We use the percent symbol to remind ourselves that the number shown is the amount out of 100. Finally, to create a percent from any decimal number, all we have to do is move the decimal point to the right two places, fill in any voids with zero, that placeholder, and indicate the percent symbol. Thank you for joining us as we looked at the steps used to convert a decimal to a percent. We hope that this mini lesson has helped remind you of the how easy it is to change a decimal to a percent. We look forward to look working with you again in another mini lesson.